Okay, I'm gonna show you how to mosaic your nightlight. Um, here are your supplies. This is the base, it's just a, an acrylic square that I cut out. Your wheeled nippers. Um, you're gonna need a small paintbrush. Um, you could even use a Q-tip if you don't have a small paintbrush. This is your template. Um, these are just the lines for the birch trees. And then this little line is just a guide if you wanna put some brown or green down for your ground area. Um, just some glue. And then a little piece of sandpaper. This will all be in your kit. And then what you're gonna do is take this acrylic square and a little dirty here. I'm just gonna give it a little sand. We're just gonna rough it up because it's a super sick, slick surface. And we want that glue to kind of grab onto something. Kind of like when you paint anything. You can just wash that off in the sink with soap and water and dry it. I'm just gonna wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol. Okay, like that. Next thing we're gonna do, make sure that's dry. It's gonna be all covered with grout so the scratches are no big deal. Um, you're gonna put your template behind it. We're just using the template for the trees and the ground area. And you can put a little piece of tape right there to hold it in place. Once we get the trees on, we can take it off. Okay. So you're gonna have your little white pieces of glass for your trees, they'll be in your kit. And you are just gonna place these on. We're gonna glue them. Um, you can kind of place them ahead of time if you want and then kind of move them up to the front or pick them up and then glue them down. I just sometimes find that that just takes more time. Um, you want a little space in between for the grout. It doesn't have to be huge, probably like a 16th of an inch. Let me look at my ruler here. Probably like, yeah, not even, maybe even a little less than a 16th of an inch. Um, I went ahead and placed them on the acrylic. And as you can see, this piece is gonna be too long. And I'm gonna cut it and I actually need a little piece on this end, so I'll cut it. And when you use your nippers, you're gonna place your glass right in between those blades. You never want your fingers in there for any reason, okay? So you're gonna put your piece of glass, I'm just gonna cut this in about half, okay? Move your hand away, and then you put your hand right underneath the nippers, and you have your hands at the end. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have my tripod. This little groove area is where you want your hands. You'll find cutting is a lot easier when you have your hands in that position. Right there, okay. Got my glass in, I'm gonna cup it under. There's nothing under here to cut me. I'm just gonna do this to catch the glass. Because if you don't cup your hand, it can go flying. And if you have people nearby, you don't want glass flying. Another thing is I just have an old paper grocery bag down here. When you nip glass, you're gonna get teeny little shards and you may not even see them, but they'll be on your work surface. So you don't want that on your table. Um, so just work on a, some old newspaper or old bag and then you can just crumple it all up when you're done. Okay, so you're just gonna take your brush or your Q-tip. Um, my glue's already getting thick. If you use a brush, um, your glue will get goopy, so you can just wipe it off on your paper towels or whatever you have down. Okay, so you're just gonna put some glue. I only put usually enough for two pieces because it dries pretty quick. And then I'm just gonna put my first piece down and you want it all the way to the edge. You want this edge to have all flat glass edges. So your glass edge goes all the way to the end of your base, like that. 
And then I'll put the second one. I need a little more glue farther down. Second one's going right underneath that. And you're going to leave a little bit of space. And that's where your grout's going to go to make your birch tree and fill it in. And then you just continue down. And this is why I think my tape isn't sticking up there. We're only using this template just for the trees and the ground, then we can get rid of it. And then you just continue on. Okay, I have all my white pieces down. And you just want to make sure you have glue, enough glue that the whole piece of glass gets covered. And you see I have them all the way to the edge, on the top and the bottom. Now we could go ahead and start filling in the bottom. And we're going to probably cut a couple pieces here. Um, again, you want this flat edge all the way around. So I suggest doing all your edges first and then filling out the middle with the rest. Um, and you can let this kind of set before you start in on the ground pieces so you don't move anything and it dries fairly quickly so just a few minutes. a little long so I'm going to cut this edge and you're going to find that you're going to have to cut pieces to fit them in in certain spots so again putting this right in between the wheel putting my hand underneath and snip and you shouldn't have to snip very hard if you're holding your nippers correctly okay and then I'm going to stick this right here and it's right up against that edge Okay, and then I can go in with my next one. That one's a little long, so I'm going to cut it right there. A little glue. I'm going to do some brown and green on the bottom. It's kind of a mix right up to the edge there. Some glue, another piece of glass right on the edge, all flat. We don't want anything like this on the edge sticking out, okay? And need another little piece there, so we'll cut the screen one. Again, putting the glass in the wheels, cupping. Snip. Some glue down. And we'll just wedge that little piece in there. Again, edge, flat edge. Okay. So we're just going to continue all the way. So this area is going to be brown and green and then um, right about up to there. And then you can start filling in your sunset colors. Okay, as you can see, I've got all my pieces around the edges and they're all flat and they're all the way to the edge, okay? And now, um, 
might let that sit for just a little bit and then you can just start filling in the rest with your other colors. Make sure all your pieces of glass are flat. Um, you don't want them sticking straight up uh, like that. That won't work. Again, just make sure they're flat. And as you can see, I have these little tiny areas to fill in um, right here. And that's where those little pieces come in handy I was talking about earlier. When you cut another piece to make it smaller, keep those little pieces because you're going to have little odd spaces like that. directly on the glass this time. It's a tight spot. Let's see if we can get this in there. There we go. Okay. So there it is. So once we get the grout on, um, it will fill all these spaces, like I said, and it'll really make it pop. Um, again, see how the edges you want completely around the edges flat nothing is sticking out hopefully you get the idea so this needs to dry overnight at least um, a good 24 hours in a warm area and again the glue um, you'll see it's white now it will clear dry um, and then before you grout, there is a separate video for that. Make sure all your pieces are glued on. You know, just make sure nothing's loose or popping off. And you can tell that because um, you want to do a quick wipe down of this before you grout. Because I have glue right here. I can probably scrape it right now. But if you miss any or you didn't want to try and clean it because you move <laughs> what you just did. Um, when it's dry, you can just take a little alcohol or just a wet rag um, and just clean off any glue uh, residue um, or just you could probably scrape it with your finger 